mais les gens ils sont malades, hein. sérieusement hein. Hey, I'm Cynthia from Baba Boom TV. I'm gonna meet up with the rubber bandits in a minute and I don't want to be recognized. How are you getting on? Are you having the crack? The Dublin Fringe. The fucking Dublin Fringe. I was really nervous at first when I heard about the Dublin Fringe, you know? Because it's kind of scary. Because I've heard of the Glasgow Kiss. That's facial disfigurement. I've heard of the Chelsea Smile. That's more facial disfigurement. But what the fuck is a Dublin Fringe? Is that like a shit haircut down an alleyway or something? Ladies and gentlemen, we are called the Rubber Bandits and we are boys off of Limerick. We're from Limerick City. Would you like to hear a bit of hardcore gangster rap? Okay, so we are here with the Rubber Bandits in backstage of the Absolute Fringe Festival. Unfortunately, they're already dressed up. So uh, we, no naked pictures today. No. <laughs> so guys, what do you think of my plastic bag? I think it's, uh, it's really good. I, I wouldn't have made the hole so big myself. <laughs> but you have such a beautiful face, you might as well show it off. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Actually, you know, I struggle to get it like this. I don't know how you guys do it because it, it looks good on you. But ours. it took me... We buy ours from Japan. Oh, you do? Yeah. Uh, that's the secret. That's the secret, yeah. You know, I wasted four bags before I got that right, which is it's not even right. We've been using the same bags for five years now. Every <laughs> yeah. It's like putting a condom band. It's like taking a condom off and putting it back on every single night. So it's all about experience. Oh yeah, 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 totally. Can we save a on condoms? Uh, <laughs> all right. So I heard that you need a black man in your crew. So we brought you a black woman. Is that okay? Yeah, black woman will do. Now, hang on now, we'd have to rewrite the song. You have to rewrite the song? No, then. No? no. Yeah, no, because if you get a black woman, that means you need to have two extra Jews, you need to have an extra Puerto Rican to have the balance. Chair? You'd have to have uh, a girl who's fat with her pants hanging down, so sorry. Too much work? Too much work. All right, so who do your choreography? Because you've got gorgeous choreographies going on in your videos. Who does? Uh, his sister. My mother and sister. No, seriously. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can you show us your best move? No, you have to. You have to give. Got one move. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. I hurt my hip. Yeah, doing that one move. It's the only move I can do. Is it what you do for an hour during the the gig? Yeah, pretty much just just that all the time. It's like I've got an imaginary hula hoop. One night that his bum went back in time. <laughs> really? So it works, yeah? Yeah. So what's your favorite word? Ganymede. Ganymede? What is that? What does that mean? It's a moon. It's a moon. One of Jupiter's moons. Is, is that Limerick is or is that English? No, space. Uh -huh. It's in space. Yeah, it's a moon. It's got a volcano on it. I don't know what the volcano is called. Ganymede, yeah, it's a gorgeous word. It's the only moon I know from Jupiter. Spelled I O. I O. Oh, Jupiter's got fantastic moon. It's entirely covered in volcanoes. I like that. Because that's the thing about Jupiter. Jupiter itself is a gas giant, so you can't have anything on it, but its moons are fantastic. They say that the moon Europa can actually be habitable by human beings in about 100 years. The fact about Jupiter is that girls go to Jupiter to get more stupider, and boys go to Mars to get more bars. You just that. made that up. David Attenborough. Really? Documentary, <laughs> documentary about space. Where do you get your inspiration from for your song? Um, the doll, salmon. You read a lot of salmon. You write a lot of good songs, and uh, fighting. Fighting. Mm. With whom? Fighting the system. 
Um, I, I, I have a, an inspiration tree. It's a, it's a tree I have out my back garden, and on it grows the inspiration fruit. And I eat this inspiration fruit, and it inspires me to create art. Wow, this is so deep. This is a truthful song about a very special relationship that I recently had with a six year old boy. Ooh, never known a boy like you before. He's good at darts and hugging and doing what he's told. I'd love to get him drunk, but Ivan's only six years old. Yeah, very, very deep. <laughs> the tree itself isn't that deep, it's quite its roots are very shallow. So I can see as well, you know, I, I actually love your songs and there's a lot of rap, soul and funk going on in your song, inspiration. So like who would be the artist that inspire you? Just you'll be forty, that's it. You'll be forty. Just a bit, a bit of Curtis Mayfield. I like a bit of Curtis Mayfield. He used to sing with his eyes closed all the time, and it's because he used to have the lyrics written on the inside of his eyelids. And how did it all start? Did you wake up one morning thinking, oh yeah, from today I'm going to walk around with a plastic bag on my head? I, I, I was having a shower when I was 17 years of age, and then when I was in the shower, and now here we are, yeah. No, seriously, but did you think I'm going to put a plastic bag on my head and walk around like this? Um, no, what I thought is I don't want anyone to know who I am. So like we, we were thinking, what's the worst costume that you can wear? And the worst costume is a plastic bag. And are you? As well, plastic bags make us very uh, attractive to women. Does it work, really? Yeah, because women love shopping and we look like shopping. <laughs> do you work out? I, I do a bit. I, I, what I, I run around, I, I run around, uh, I have a dog and I run around the field with him all day. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and then but I do push-ups as well with the dog, and I, I've trained the dog to do push-ups too. So we do push-ups together in a local park. <laughs> All right, what about you? Me? Yeah, do you want that? No, I smoke fags and drink coke. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, it's like a great diet. Elton John diet. Fags and coke, yeah. So great, guys. Really, <laughs> really, really nice. Really interesting. So, uh, would you teach me your best dance move, please? I really want to. No, I saw. You, I know you've got this Michael Jackson thing going on. No, that's just Michael Jackson. We get him to go out and dance. We put a bag in his head, so no one knows it's him. He faked his own death, so he kicked with us. That's so. That's really Michael Jackson. Yeah, yeah. So is is still alive? Yeah, of course. Yeah, he lives in Step Aside. Really? Yeah, under a bridge. We're from Limerick City. I'm actually planning to go to Limerick tomorrow for sightseeing. Where should I go or not go? I uh, see the Treaty Stone. It's, it's a big rock and everyone says that it's great and everyone stands around it scratching their heads figuring out why this rock is great. And then oh, uh, kayaking on the Kurigower Falls. That's you know, a genuine thing to do in Limerick that is entertaining. You can get your hair cut. I, I, you, I, you, you could buy a snake and set it free and then follow it around and see what mischief it gets up to. So I, I might just do that. Alright. Cork isn't that good. No, I mean, you could, like, I'm just throwing these out there, you know. Just giving you some days. Okay, so who is who anyway? Who is Mr. Chrome? And you are? I'm blind by boat club. It's my full name. Yeah. No, it's more of a metaphor, and I don't know what the metaphor is for. That's my purpose in life, is to figure out what my, my, my name yeah. All right, so that's it, guys. Uh, thank you for your time. It was really lovely to meet up with you. Okay, best of luck for your gig. Can I give you two kisses French style to, uh, and for best of luck? Yeah. And best of luck. <laughs> 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 I'm so